Whoa, one of these ice cubes is really happy to see me. So this is called an ice spike. So I've seen these in my refrigerator and I've figured out what they are. So this is a little bit of science for you today. Um, when the ice cube freezes, it freezes around the edges and it freezes on top last. And of course, in the middle of the ice cube freezes last. So what will happen is as the ice cube freezes from the outside, there's a hole in the top in some instances, obviously not in all instances because most of these cubes don't have spikes on them. And the hole in the top of the ice cube is where all the water from the inside of the ice has to squirt out because ice expands, or I should say water expands when it gets frozen. So as the water expands, it pushes the water out the hole and as it goes out of the hole, it forms a tube and it freezes into a spike. And so that is an ice spike and it's like a, a stalagmite on your ice. Um, this doesn't happen very often with tap water because tap water has so many minerals in it. I've got a reverse osmosis filtration system that I use to make my water. So if you want to try this at home, you need to get distilled water or super filtered water or it'll just frustrate you and it won't happen. I wonder too if you poked a hole in the middle of the ice cube while it was freezing if that would generate ice spikes too. Um, there you go, science for the day.